<laughs> Welcome. Good morning. Once again, I have another new project to show you. This 1963 Lincoln, and you're probably saying, wait a sec, Jeff, I want to see episode two of The Godfather, or maybe episode two of Tim Montana's truck. Like, we want to see the progression of you building them. To be honest with you, this is how many cars we're working on at one time, and it's crazy here. Yes, we're going to do episode twos and threes and fours of previous uh, episodes. So if you haven't seen those, go back and check them out. Subscribe, like. But right now, I'm going to show you the Lincoln 63 Galaxy Gray. This thing is bad. So when we got the car, the bodywork was supposedly already done. Uh, it only took us about 15 minutes of looking down the side of it to, to, for us to understand that, hey, it wasn't straight whatsoever. And if we painted the car that way, it would be bad on us because the car would be you know, waving at you going down the street. However, uh, so what we did is we went ahead and blocked the whole car down. Uh, we found a little bit of rust and a few other things, so we fixed that stuff. So when we're painting, uh, jamming, I like to get all the trunk jam, the inside of the trunk, inside of the hood, the engine compartment, and inside of the jams all done uh, first. That way we can take it back to the fab shop, put the motor training back in, make it run, and then bring it back to have the outside of the car painted. We back mask everything and then color sand and buff when we're finished. The process seems to make more sense for us because then we're not leaning over painted surfaces. Uh, we're just leaning over primer and it's easier to fix that rather than a painted car. So now that the engine compartment's painted, we're gonna take it back to the fab shop and we're going to put the motor and tranny back in it and we're gonna actually make it run for the first time. So that's always exciting. Uh, the engine on this car is a 428 with the overdrive transmission. Uh, it's kind of like shoehorning an ape into a cage. I mean, literally have to do a lot of trimming, a lot of cutting to get it to fit down and tight. Well, right now we're putting the motor and tranny in uh, for the last time. Once we get that in there, it will uh, get the exhaust done. Put the, uh, we put a two-piece drive shaft in this one so we didn't have to cut the whole trans tunnel out. So get that little bracket made for that and get the exhaust reworked back to the body shop. Got it? Maybe take one end off and I need you to yank all the fuel lines off and put new ones on uh, because they corrode from the inside. We don't want to keep these old crappy lines on here. We want to replace it with new stainless. Uh, right now I'm building a carrier bearing cross member for this car because we decided to do a two piece drive shaft. That way we don't have to cut the whole floor out. Also a little bit more for the carrier bearing but a little bit less in labor. Kind of win-win. mocking everything up right now so I can tie it together and then I'll build a little chin on it and weld it all up and then send it off to Potter Coat. So this car came in with one of our uh, mandrel band uh, stainless exhaust kits on it. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to modify the front head pipes to fit the rear uh, and get it all tightened back up and moved all back in and Scotty's going to come over here and uh, show us how it's done. Hi, I'm Scott. Working on this 1963 428 Cobra Jet Lincoln convertible, doing a complete exhaust system on it. I used to work at a muffler shop way before I started working on uh, Lincoln. Now that we have the, the motor and tranny in, the exhaust mocked up, we're going to pull the exhaust back off, send it out to get ceramic coated. Um, while that's out being ceramic coated, we're going to take the car back over to the body shop and let them back mask and uh, get the outside ready for paint. Uh, this thing's going to House of Color Galaxy Gray, which is one of my favorite colors. It has a really nice pop when it gets in the sun, so you have that light and dark kind of flop. Uh, so uh, now it's back to the body shop. So the different stages of painting that we do is we strip it down, we do the body work, and as you see right now, he's laying the sealer down. What the sealer does is actually seals up any primer or Bondo or anything like that. So it keeps it from getting anything coming through into the paint. Once he's done sealing it, we'll let it sit, air out, uh, what we call gas out actually. And then we will start applying the base coat. Right now we're applying the base coat, which 
is a House of Color Galaxy Gray. And we put about three coats down and then we'll let, actually let it gas out once again. Because um, we don't want nothing coming through the paint or the clear or the primer or anything like that. So we let each stage dry. At this point, we'll go over it with a thousand grit and then we'll lay some clear down. Now my favorite part, laying the clear down. This is what makes all that work worth it. When you see the clear go down on the car, it is spectacular. We're to the final step now of the paint where we do all the cutting and buffing, which really brings everything back together and starts making it look like a car again. Um, we'll do three or four stages of buffing. We'll start with the wool pad and work all the way to a foam pad. Um, and then we usually leave the last buff for when the car leaves. Uh, at this point right now, he's just killing it on it and it's coming out perfect. So um, after this, we'll start putting the chrome on and then uh, wire it and interior and stereo and out of here. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Another episode, another new car. That's right, we're done for this one. But episode two, you're gonna see us putting chrome on, driving the car, um, probably wiring it, doing a lot of cool stuff, and it's gonna start looking like a car again. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow us on our journey out of here.